Hi there and welcome to my gaming memories. Now I know I said I was going to put one of these up on Wednesday but I um Wimbledon is happening right now and I'm a massive tennis fan and Wednesday was an insane day of tennis. I couldn't drag myself away from it for a minute and last year I didn't have the opportunity to watch Wimbledon because I was busy in some shitty job in a petrol station but this year I can watch as much as I want and I took full advantage. <laughs> uh, final is tomorrow, can't wait. But forget sports, we're here to talk about game memories and more specifically Resident Evil 4 or Resident Evil 4. Um, I'll never do that again. <laughs> so Resident Evil 4 is special to me for a new few reasons. Uh, the first of which is because it was one of the first games that I couldn't complete by myself. Uh, I struggled because of the game, I, I always play I played in bursts. I could never sit down and play it for three or four hours because it was so difficult for me. I used to play it in little bursts. I used to play, get to a couple of checkpoints, regroup. Whew, and I actually had to go out and buy the guide. There's this beautiful guide, about yay thick, all different sections, pro tips and stuff like that. And I remember that I would play the game during the day for a little bit. And then at night I would read the next two or three pages a little bit ahead of myself to know what I'm expecting and not get caught off guard. <laughs> It was, it the first playthrough for me it took me probably like 15 or so hours. It was a beefy game. And I used to always struggle with the smashing the X button to outrun the boulders. I could never do it. In fact, I have to get, I have to get my, uh, my cousin to come over to the house to do it for me because he could just mash it and get me through it. It was also a game that I introduced to my cousin. He adored it. And he did his playthrough of it and took him 22 hours his first time. He did everything, every nook and cranny. Every aspect of the game you want to know about. And another reason why I really, well, Resident Evil 4 is, is kind of a, a dear game for me is because of beating it on professional, which similar to God of War God Mode is extremely difficult. I struggled with Resident Evil 4 on normal and I just said, feck it, I want to play more of the game, let's do it on professional. Even though you've got Ashley as your companion who can taken away at any time, I felt compelled to play it on professional and push myself. And it was literally like, Get to a checkpoint, done, turn off the console, that's so much energy expended just getting from here to here. And then there was the added thing of, of item management, being sure that you've got enough. When do you use a herb, when do you not use a herb, when can you sacrifice ammo for one gun for another, How, what guns do you even bother bringing with you at all. There's just so much involved in it. And the guide that I had became a huge deal. I used to study it, all the pro tips, used to go through them all and try and get through the game as best as possible. And finally, when I did beat it, it was just so, such a good feeling. Beating on professional was magnificent. And this is one of the things that, that just, it was already a great game. This is what made it one of my favorite games. Once you beat it on professional, the hardest difficulty, it says, congratulations, you've done everything possible. You've bested us. Here's a reward. And the reward were, the rewards were the fact that you can now put Ashley in a suit of armor, your companion, so you can never be taken and don't even have to worry about her. You can also then, you get this slick outfit, it's kind of like a 1950s mob boss, ped tone black and a white scarf and a little fedora as well. And you get a, a what's it put, a Tommy gun. It's called the, uh, fuck, what's it called? The Chicago typewriter, that's what it's called. It's a Tommy gun and it's infinite ammo and you can just go through the game and wail on enemies and it just, oops. Don't rip it. <laughs> and you could just wail on enemies. And it was so satisfying to go back through a game which had caused me so much heartache and and energy to try and get just a little bit into the game. And I was running through with a Tommy gun, destroying everything and marching through. I think my, my normal playthrough was about 15 hours. Professional was about 18. Well, not including the amount of times I died and just gave up. And then I think I ran through it with the Tommy gun in about three hours. <laughs> All these bosses come at you and just go mow them down. It was so satisfying. And that's what I think more games should do once you beat it on the hardest difficulty is reward you for your efforts by making you overpowered. I know in Dead Space 2, you were able to do that once you beat it on hardcore difficulty to give you a, a glove which just explodes enemies into bits and it's a lot of fun. Hopefully one day I might get to use it. But for Resident Evil 4, just the combination of it's unique way, it's kind of introduced the whole over the shoulder thing. 
the way the way the camera angle the you can't move while aiming it was just it was so tense it was so satisfying it was so lengthy and it was it wasn't lengthy and waffle it was all compact but extended for an, a long long time and it was well worth the money whatever i spent during it doesn't even matter and it, i it was a game that for about let's say three months for three months that's the only thing i played i just played in bursts i played every day a little burst a little burst about three months and then i'd take a break between norm professional played on professional took ages going back through it overpowered it's it just devoured my life my gaming life for about three months and i couldn't think of a better game to do so <laughs> oh yes uh so that's some of my memories with resident evil 4 if you've got a, an affiliation for the game and you think it's well worth talking about be sure to let me know in the comment section i will respond to every single one of them and yeah that's number two done i'm gonna make number three which is going to be on wednesday which i promise ah fuck it who am i i'll hope <laughs> my promises mean nothing i'll hope to get out on wednesday and that'll be my final video done kaput so it'll be a three-part series instead of four because i'm a lying bastard but that's how it goes <laughs> thanks for joining me and uh yeah i'll see you around <laughs>